Today, the New York City Council looks to take action on e-bikes and lithium-ion batteries after hundreds of destructive and deadly fires. Scenes like this one you see here in Queens are part of the reason the city is trying to crack down. Ahead of the city council meeting, fire safety advocates and delivery drivers rallied outside of City Hall to demand greater protection from battery fires. So far this year, there have been already 188 investigations into lithium battery fires. 139 people have been hurt. Six people have died. In all of last year, there were 104 investigations, 79 injuries, and four deaths. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu has more on the story from City Hall. Those pushing for regulations and changes want to make it clear they're not looking to ban e-bikes and e-scooters. They simply want regulations in place so that fires don't happen. Demands for change to address a growing concern in New York City. Last weekend um, on 52nd Street, though, over um, 40 people were injured because somebody was, um, a guy was running an illegal repair shop in a 20th floor apartment and he, was, he had five batteries that exploded. Members of a group called Safer Charging are calling on New York City leaders to pass regulations to prevent the blazes. Fire officials say at least 200 fires can be attributed to the lithium ion battery so far this year. Meanwhile, city council members like Gail Brewer are pushing for legislation to regulate the charging, use, and sale of unsafe batteries. Reconstructing batteries from parts and mixing and matching batteries with chargers from different manufacturers and leaving chargers plugged in unattended locations or overnight can contribute to dangerous conditions. Shaquan Mitchell understands the dangers firsthand. She was inside her apartment at the Jacob Reese homes a year ago when a fire broke out on her floor. To this day, I'm still traumatized about that. Seeing a deadly fire, um, hearing explosions, seeing kids. It's something that still haunts me to this day. One person died and several others were hurt. The cause of the fire, according to investigators, was a lithium ion battery. It's heart wrenching to anybody to have to go through a deadly fire because of something that should have been and could have been with the solution. Fire officials say these fires caused by these batteries are unique in the fact that they are extremely difficult to put out. So they ask that uh, people do not try to put out the fires on their own.